generate monthly cash flow. Top 5 Short-Term Investments for 2022 Investing can be a great way to build wealth over time, but not everyone has the luxury of a long-term investment horizon. Short-term investments are ideal for those who want to generate cash flow and liquidity while keeping their risk level low. There are several options for short-term investments that can provide decent returns. Each of these investments offers different benefits, and choosing the right one depends on your individual financial goals and risk tolerance. In a climate of historically low interest rates, a strong job market, and Fed-free money, stocks don't tumble. Volatility is inevitable and you'll experience roller coasters. That's why in this video we'll explain why the 2022 stock market was a financial roller coaster and why even long-term investors need a short-term investing plan. But before we begin, click the like button and subscribe. Also, ring the bell icon so you'll never miss our new videos. I'll briefly discuss 2022 market volatility's cause. A stock chart of the Nasdaq or any tech stock for the last five years shows that something broke in 2020. This 10-year Nasdaq index chart shows that tech stocks had an incredible bull run from 2008 to 2020, returning 16% annually. What happened in the last 20 months? Since January, tech stocks and the market have risen 75%. 45% annualized. No rocket science required. Pandemic efforts by the Federal Reserve have injected almost $4.4 trillion into the economy. A fifth of the economy in one year. If there was any doubt, the Nasdaq tech stock index in green and the Fed balance sheet, which indicates how much money the Fed is injecting into the economy, match each other almost identically. The US government spent another $4.7 trillion on stimulus checks, loans, and epidemic spending. Such money was needed to avoid an economic depression, but the bill always comes due. Before that, investors must consider the repercussions. The Fed is already paying back money it pumps into the economy, and even that proposed government expenditure will be a multi-trillion dollar decline from last year. So, less money entering the economy removes one of stocks' two-year support legs. Low interest rates have also supported stocks. The 10-year Treasury rate, the benchmark for all other interest rates, averaged little over 2% from 2010 through 2020. Later, to boost economic development, the Fed lowered its funds rate, lowering 10-year to 1% over the past year and 1.5% today. For two reasons. Secondly, lower interest rates indicate cheaper company loans and faster economic growth. It's also significant for investors because interest rates directly affect bond and other fixed income returns. All pension funds and insurance firms have moved from bonds to stocks due to low interest rates. Tina, there is no alternative, is a factor for stock strength. Yet, that figure shows that interest rates have rebounded and are predicted to rise to 2% during the following year. That removes another support for stocks since investors can start getting a better return on bonds, and rising rates won't provide the same economic support. Again, I'm not predicting a stock market crash. The economy is strong, the job market is strong, and there is still money in savings accounts to spend. Yet, once equities lose several support levels, price fluctuations return. Instead of a ski lift, you ride a roller coaster in stocks. The S&P 500 went 227 days without a correction, a 5% price decline. That is historically long and has misled investors into thinking stocks only rise. Hence, if you want to make money in stocks in 2022, you must be prepared for larger stock market volatility. Take advantage of short-term investments and prepare for what drives them. Selling monthly Bitcoin ETF options for 10% monthly returns is the first short-term idea. We discussed this method a few weeks ago when comparing income ETFs like QILD. This creates monthly cash flows on those stock positions, and it works well here due to the ProShares Bitcoin ETF's high volatility, ticker BITO. I enjoy this monthly ETF strategy. We'll choose November 26th expiration options. Scroll down to sell call options with a $42.50 strike price for $3.20 per. The fund is trading at $42.56 per share. We receive $3.20 per share for selling another investor the right to buy those shares from us at $42.50 apiece after three weeks. That drops our share price to $39.36 each. If we sell them for $42.50, we've made almost 8% in 3 weeks. Just as well, if the stock finishes below $42.50 in 3 weeks, we keep the shares and money, collecting a 7.5% cash return and selling another call option for the following month. Option methods can be complicated at first, but they're wonderful instruments for investing, 
especially when you uncover volatile equities and funds with high option prices. Therefore, don't feel pressured to grasp it immediately. I'll link you a video I made a few months ago that explains my favorite option methods below. To reduce risk and increase return, you're basically cashing in your investments. I've mentioned BlockFi's consistent coin interest investment before. Stable coins are in high demand for international transfers and other rapid, frictionless payments without bank fees. BlockFi pays up to 9% on those accounts because of this. Traditional banks accomplish this with savings. They mortgage that money after paying you interest. The site will lend on your stablecoin savings account. Yet, BlockFi's rate is over 150 times the bank's 0.06%. It's also a terrific short-term investment. First, that interest rate isn't stock market dependent. As interest rates rise, so could the rate. You'll make that money regardless of the stock market. Second, you get that interest every day, which allows you to sit out the market with cash, make a tremendous return, and then buy back into stocks whenever you choose. Over $1,600 in interest and $25 a day, or $750 a month. That's stablecoin interest and Bitcoin and Ethereum investments. $80,000 in stable coins at 9% yields $600 a month. Whenever you see high yield interest on a savings account, you have to wonder what's the catch. Is it too good? Stable coin interest has downsides. BlockFi only pays the top rate on the first 40,000 coins. If you have more than 40 grand in any stable coin, you'll earn less. I avoid it by having half my money in USDC and half in PX stable coin, so I stay under $40 each and make the highest rate in both. They aren't FDIC insured either. These coins are backed by genuine assets like commercial paper, but that doesn't guarantee their worth. To help you comprehend Bitcoin and this investment, I'll link you a few videos below. BlockFi allows bank deposits and account opening in 5 minutes. Create an account using the link in the description to get up to $250 in free Bitcoin. We have three additional short-term investments to promote, but I won't just hand them to you. I'll show you how to locate the greatest short-term investments. Market missed pricing and using different investments for short-term returns are themes in these five trades. I'll discuss three ways to find these investments. Riskless or hedged investments, which don't depend on stock direction, are my preferred strategy. Our stablecoin interest investment pays rates regardless of stock price. BlockFi uses loan revenue to pay interest. Another example I'll show you later involves buying an investment and then betting against it in futures to make up to 20% a year risk-free. Market missed pricings in stocks and options are another short-term investing approach. Like that options investing, meme and growth companies and the Bitcoin fund have such high volatility that you may make a good short-term return while minimizing risk. My preferred trading method involves longer-term investing as we do on the channel and seeking for short-term catalysts to boost the investment. I'll teach you how to accomplish this with our next investment, but basically, you're looking for stocks with high long-term upside potential and refining your list to those with likely near-term catalysts that can really ignite that growth. Yet this following short-term trading approach uses meme stock options for cash flow and return. I'll buy a stock and sell a call option against it utilizing the covered call option technique. Selling calls offers an investor the opportunity to acquire your stock at a specified price over a set period for a cash premium. Like the Bitcoin fund, meme stocks have enormous price swings, so you get more from such options. After a bad report dropped Bed Bath & Beyond shares more than 30% in a few days, I made this trade in October. I bought 700 shares at $16.99 and sold 7 call option contracts. Each contract covered 100 shares. I sold those for $1.59 each at a $20 strike price. This means what? I immediately made 9% on the investment by collecting that $1.59 per share. There are two outcomes. One is that investor will exercise that option and acquire them from me for $20 if the stock finishes over $20 by January 21st. In less than three months, I earn approximately 18% on the investment and 9% in cash. If the shares finish under $20, that investor won't buy them from me. I'd maintain my shares and sell more call options, possibly next month, for another 5-10% to cash return. As it turns out, the stock rose beyond $20 recently, so I'll get the 27 return over 3 months and can reinvest it in another stock. I'll show you how I found these stocks before you get back to those investing ideas. Short-Term and Long-Term Investing Regulations These 5 2022 short-term investments will bring you money. 
I want to give you methods to make money every year. Short-term investments require less basic study, which is hard for many investors. Operating margin and valuation are less important than investor emotion and herd mentality. Value investors like myself find this difficult. Short-term trades don't allow me to examine an investment's long-term potential and acquire the best deal. Find investments that excite investors regardless of price. Contrarian thinking is next. Contrarian investors think against market patterns and assumptions, which is a tremendous opportunity most investors miss. Futures and options are auction machines. The stronger the consensus on one side of the transaction, the cheaper it is for the opposing side to participate and the higher the return if it is right. Returning to our list, our fourth 2022 investment is penny stock investing with a short-term trigger to boost the stock. Penny stocks have been covered on the channel before, but it's normally a venture capital strategy where you're searching for young companies that can 10x your money in three or five years. You'll continue explore long-term growth, but you'll also look for near-term events that could kickstart it. A $69 million healthcare provider is HealthLinked Company, HLYK. The cloud-based healthcare network connects patients, clinicians, and data. Doctors and patients can review records, enter symptoms, and schedule online. Virtual services and software will transform healthcare. It will replace most doctor appointments. I think many startup virtual healthcare companies get acquired by larger corporations. Bloomberg Analytics estimates that mobile and telehealth is a $18 billion business expanding at 30% plus annually. After nearly doubling in 2019, the company's reimbursement and marketing income rose 52% to $6.1 million last year. With $2.6 million in cash and $1.1 million in debt, this company has plenty of runway to grow. I think the near-term stimulus for virtual services is the labor scarcity, especially in healthcare. In October, the business debuted a new patient check-in system with a single QR code for remote check-in, which might enhance revenue next year. You have a great long-term penny stock investment with a short-term trigger that offers upside potential. Last year, shares reached 94 cents, a 200% return. I'll reveal my best short-term investment after we discuss a big question that most investors don't ask and end up losing money in these trading strategies, what's your risk-reward ratio? Certainly, some of these investments are very low risk, but risk and reward always come with a price. Anybody offering lottery ticket returns without risk is either lying or attempting to sell you something. I wouldn't blast smoke up your arse. Risk and return should be considered while choosing short-term investments or any investment. What are the risks and returns of each investment? A rating of my five short-term investments might look like this, with stable coins and the cash and carry technique at the lowest risk and penny stocks at the highest. Stable coin interest yields 9%, the lowest annualized return of the group, but it's also the lowest risk. Compare that to penny stock returns of 3 to 4% last year, but also with the possibility of losing 30 to 40% or more. Hence, consider your options, risk tolerance, and best investment before choosing the largest return potential. My favorite short-term investing concept is this one. Bitcoin Cash and Carry. This amazing monthly trading method has earned me up to 20% annualized profits for months, but it won't last. Because it's unusual, low risk, and short term, take advantage of this through 2022. The cash and carry trade involves buying a commodity or currency and selling futures contracts against it at the same time. Find assets with a lower current price than the futures price and lock in the difference to generate money. Example, at BlockFi, Bitcoin costs $63,011. Now we can go to the CME, the largest futures exchange, and see each month's Bitcoin contract values. The October contract expires in four days, so we'll utilize the November futures. Bitcoin one-month futures are $63,928 apiece. That's over 1.4% over the market price. These contracts to buy or sell Bitcoin are $900 cheaper than the current price. Buying Bitcoin and holding it in your account while selling a futures contract against it is how a lot of major institutional investors are earning money right now. This means you have those Bitcoins and a month-long contract to sell them. I highlighted and detailed this investment in last week's video on my 5 favorite 2022 investments, so I'll link to it in the explanation below. Check it out, a that's wonderful transaction. But, this is only paying that high return because Bitcoin investors' ETF option is those future monies. These funds have billions of dollars driving futures contract demand above Bitcoin's price. 
you might get a double-digit short-term return until the normal Bitcoin ETFs are approved. Click on the video to the right because we'll be giving you more videos like this. And if you like this video, don't forget to share, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.